A top Chinese official has been charged with accepting bribes, stealing state secrets, and abusing his power. Ling Jihua was one of the most trusted advisors to former President Liu Jintao. He served in a role similar to that of chief of staff. His indictment part of an enormous corruption crackdown by President Xi Jinping, targeting thousands of government officials for accepting or offering bribes. For more, we're joined by Jamie Metzl in New York, a senior fellow at the Atlantic Council. Thanks so much for being with us. Who is Ling Jihua and how extraordinary is his arrest? Well, as you mentioned, Jonathan, he was the equivalent of the chief of staff. He headed the general office under President and Party Secretary Hu Jintao, who, of course, is the pre predecessor to Xi Jinping. Uh, so a very, very, very powerful person. And then in 2012, four years ago, his son, uh, it is this crazy incident where there was a car crash on the fourth ring road in Beijing of a black Ferrari. This is going very fast. His son was killed. Two scantily clad women were inside the car. One later died. And the father uh, then tried to suppress the news of this scandal. And that was one of the things uh, that really caused problems. And secondly, uh, Xi Jinping now, there's a very large anti-corruption campaign and is cracking down on a lot of people, particularly people who are outside of his power clique. And uh, the Hu Jintao people and the Jiang Zemin people from uh, the two predecessors uh, are in uh, having much bigger problems than the people closer to Xi. Now, you say it's large. Um, media accounts suggest it's, well, it's hard to imagine how sweeping it's been. They talk about thousands or hundreds of yeah, thousands about 100, of arrests. Yeah, about 100,000. So it's massive. Uh, and 160 so-called tigers who are very senior, senior people, uh, as in this case, and Bo Zhilai and Zhao Yongkang. Um, um, but the issue is that it's also politicized. There is an anti-corruption element of the anti-corruption campaign, but there's an even bigger political element. So what's the president trying to do? Well, China now is in trouble. Uh, they've grown in one way, and Xi Jinping and others know that they need to completely reform their economy. But there are all kinds of vested interests, and the economy and society and the party is being uh, pulled down by endemic corruption. And so Xi, on one hand, is trying to address corruption, but more importantly, is trying to reform economy and society and can't do it with all of these other political factions in the way. So under the guise of anti-corruption, they're cracking down on real and perceived enemies. It's, it's very high stakes and, and I think very dangerous. Now we have just a moment, so I've got to ask this quickly, but she himself, or at least his relatives, were named in the Panama Papers as people who are in some way involved as office holders or board members of offshore companies. Uh, so a double standard here? I mean, is, is he tainted Mass by the same brush? Yes, massive double, uh, double standards. In, uh, in China, corruption is not a cancer on the Communist Party. Corruption is the essence of the Communist Party. Everybody is corrupt. And that's why, by definition, an, an anti-corruption campaign is politicized. And that's the problem here. Even if there is a genuine desire to clean up corruption, you can't do it with the nature of government that, that China now has. And so then we'll know the anti-corruption campaign is serious when Xi Jinping's own family is held accountable and his own allies are held accountable for their corruption. Until then, it's politics and showmanship. Jimmy Metzl of the Atlantic Council, thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure.